Hey, what's up guys? It's Pedro here from NoobCoder.com. And in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about how we can handle JSON data using Express and the Body Parser module. So in the previous tutorial, we talked about using the Body Parser module in order to handle URL encoded data. So what we're going to do is take this form from the last tutorial and convert it to post JSON data. So to get started, I'm just going to head over to Visual Studio Code. And right here, I have my index.html file and our form pulled up. What I'm going to do is add an attribute to the form. So I'm just going to give it an ID and I'm going to call it form. And the reason for that is I want to prevent the default submission. I want to post data using jQuery Ajax. So that's how we're going to post JSON data to our server. So now that I have my ID, scroll down and I already put our jQuery CDN here just to make the tutorial a little bit quicker. And we're just going to go here and we're going to include our script. So I'm just going to say script. Now from here, we're just going to say document dot ready. And the first thing that we want to do is get our form. So I'm just say dollar sign, pound sign, form. And we're going to attach a submit handler to our form. And this submit handler is going to take a callback function, which has an event as a parameter. So now what I want to do is prevent the default submit. So we're just going to take the event that we get and we're going to call prevent default. And from here, we're going to use Ajax to actually make the post request. And what we're going to do is post JSON data back to the server. So I'm just going to say dollar sign dot Ajax. And this is going to take a bunch of configuration. So one of the properties that we can use is called URL. And this is going to be the endpoint that we're going to have at our server. So I'm just going to say forward slash. Second property is going to be type. And this is going to be what kind of HTTP request that we want to make. And we're going to post JSON to the server. So I'm just going to say post. Third argument is going to be the content type. And the content type is obviously going to be JSON. So I'm just going to say application slash JSON. Next property that we're going to use is called data. And this is going to be the actual form data that we want to pass in. So how do we get the form data? Well, I'm just going to say get our form. And then I'm going to serialize it using the serialize array. And basically, this is going to take our form data. So our email field and our password field, serialize it within an array. And this is going to be a JavaScript array object. But remember, we're posting JSON back to the server because that's the content type that we want. So we're just going to say JSON.stringify and pass in this data as an argument. So this is going to take the serialized array and it's going to convert it into JSON for us. Next, we're going to say success. And success is going to be invoked when we have successful response back from the server. So I'm just going to say response. And we're just going to print onto the console successfully got response. And we're also going to print out the response that we actually got from the server. So once all this is done, let's scroll down a bit. Everything looks good to me. So I'm just going to save our index.html file. We're going to head back to app.js. So this is our server. And down here, remember that we told our Express application how to handle URL encoded data. Now, what we need to do is just say app.use body parser. And this has a method called JSON. Now, this method is obviously going to parse JSON. 
and it's going to attach it to our request.body. So now if I just put a semicolon there and if we scroll back down, you can see our original post request is handled here. And what I'm going to do is instead of saying just plain text, we're going to respond back to the client using JSON. So I'm just going to say res.json and we're going to pass an object. And we're just going to say that it's been successfully posted. So now obviously what res.json does is takes a JavaScript object and converts it into JSON for us. So now if I was to save this and I'm just going to go to terminal, new terminal, and I'm going to say node app to run the server, go back to Chrome. We're going to type local host. And now to test this out, let's give it a dummy email and password, click submit. And now if I hit F12, you can see form serial array is not a function. So let's take a look at this and we're getting an error. Let's actually take a look at that part of the code. And that's because we did not include the dollar sign. So let's include that now. Let's save it, go over to Chrome. Now we're going to hit refresh and type whatever we want. Hit submit, go to console and you can see that we successfully hosted JSON to the server. The server responded by posting this object back to us. If I go back to Visual Studio Code, you can see that we have our serialized form data. You can see that we have our serialized form data and that it's not JSON, that this is just an array. And the reason why you're not getting back JSON and it's because our body parser module sees that it's JSON and automatically converts it to a JavaScript object. In this case, it's an array.